Information Sciences, University of Delhi. He is also the chairman of governing body of Zakir Hussain College, Delhi. He has more than 40 years of professional experience. He served IGNU, CSIR, and INSA. He got the Young Professional Young Information Scientist Award in 1994, Bharat Jyoti Award in 2006, Fellowship Award of Society of Information Science in 2008, ITLIST Best Teacher Award in LIS in 2010. He is the member of more than 15 professional associations and various selection committees. He pointed the first virtual book in LIS in 2003 and consecutively published three more e-books on LIS in India. He was a core member of first e-course in LIS developed by the Consortium for Educational Communication of UGC. He has to his credit more than 80 research articles and 10 books. He was chairperson and panelist for many international and national conferences. We welcome you, sir. Thank you. We also have with us President Governing Council, Sardar Aris Chahal, sir, our principal, Dr. Sanjay Prashad, sir, and the two professors in charge of Buddha campus and girls Wing campus, Professor Amarjeet Singh sir and Dr. Ranjana Das, head of departments, faculty members and my dear students. All are welcome to this webinar, which is being organized by the library Guru Nanak College. I, librarian Nusrat Parveen, welcome you all. Now, I request our principal sir to bless the occasion Sir, over to you. Our principal, Dr. Sanjay Prashad, sir. I think uh, there is a uh, some communication error. Just, just five minutes.
नुसरत नुसरत एम आई ऑडिबल नुसरत सर यू आर ऑडिबल या या हाँ गो हेड स्टार्ट द प्रोसीडिंग्स नुसरत अनम्यूट नुसरत अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ Okay. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah. You are audible. You are audible. Now start. Start. Okay, sir. Now I request our our principal sir has also joined. So now I request sir to bless the occasion, and uh, we will further proceed with the program. Ah, uh, thank you, Nusrat. Ah, uh, once again I welcome. our president sadar aris chahal sir the faculty members hods the professor in charge my dear students and above all our librarian nusrat parveen बाहर मित्र हैं, हैं। उतना ही नहीं ये एक बहुत अच्छा मार्गदर्शक भी है और इनके साथ जुड़ना और जुड़े रहना हर किसी को एक दिशा देता है सो दिस वेबिनार इज मेनली फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ व्हाट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ लाइब्रेरीज एंड द रीडिंग because nowadays we have come to realize that the reading habits among students has declined to a greater extent but in this corona time corona period the importance has increased to many fold because many of things or many things are being delivered using this virtual platform and since our library is in fact a automated one nowadays and many hundred students and our faculty members have joined the library to virtual mode and with this they have the facility of e resource in terms of say more than 5 7 lakhs of books and more than 6000 of journals and etc so on this very topic that is why reading habit should continue and why this habit is said to be a wonderful habit and this must be there with our students also as i told as i as i was told that professor salendra kumar sir a very eminent personality a well known personality not only from the delhi university but across the country he has uh, the experience of uh, what is called uh, having published so many books journals articles and uh, he has uh, in fact or uh, he has been the member of uh, many organizations at all india level so without taking much time i once again welcome all of you and above all the key speaker on this occasion professor salendra kumar sir who is professor and head department of library science of delhi university thank you thank you very much thank you so much sir now i request our guest speaker professor sarendra kumar sir 
to continue this webinar over to you sir thank you uh, namaskar to everyone uh, i am very happy here to be associated with this webinar uh, first of all i thanks uh, guru nanak college dhanbad for inviting me uh, especially sardar chahal ji and principal sanjay prasad ji and faculty members and students and uh, nushrat parveen uh, nushrat parveen she was my student also at delhi university she did her masters and mphil program at delhi university and uh, i know her since then uh, she was really a bright student and i am happy that she is there at uh, guru nanak college dhanbad and handling the library activities now when i heard about her college so i was thinking you you see that uh, i want to make uh, uh, this lecture by sharing my experience and your experience also and that what we think about library before we'll go into the library uh, i was going through uh, the website of your college uh, please allow me to share my screen my screen is is shared now yes sir okay uh, this is the topic that uh, she told me okay let me speak on the library and reading and what i did i immediately logged into your website and first thing i observed is the entrance you know this is a guru nanak college dhanbad uh, is uh, entry gate and then i saw the picture of your principal and college library and these some of the pictures here and while doing so uh what i observed is the the place of a library you know everything whenever you are thinking of a library uh anyone visiting your library or your college you first go to your entrance gate and then you come to the college and in the college there are various places which definitely principal saab and the other faculty member they would like to show to the students and to the guest that this is our campus and we have a very good computer lab and we have a good facilities for students we have a very beautiful ground and we have a library now when it comes to the library see everywhere the the place which you are visiting is the the most important one when you will visit your library you go to your entrance gate there are so many beautiful library we are having you know uh, especially in the colleges also some colleges is having a library within the normal building of a college and some colleges are having a library as a separate building you know as you have a a uh, theater hall in your college so when i think of a library or everyone think of a library definitely students and faculty they want to have a beautiful environment in the library now when it comes to the uh guru nanak college dhanbad library see while while interacting while giving my my feeling about the library uh, please don't take it uh, uh, otherwise as a criticism 
I just want to uh, help or by my interaction, if something goes better, well and good. When I saw the library entrance gate, see, you have a grill type of a gate. Fine, uh, because there are many administrative things in the college library, especially when the students are there. Uh, security system is uh, very, very important. Fine. But once you enter through this grill gate and how your library looks, whether you would like to sit for hours together in the library or you just going into the library and uh, getting your books and getting it issued and coming out of the library. What we feel library is a place where you can sit comfortably more than as you are sitting in your room at home or when you are sitting in the college in your room as a faculty member or a student, they are sitting in the classes and they are enjoying reading it. So library should be a place where the, the internal environment should be so congenial that we would like to sit us together. So beautification of the library is also very, very important. How your circulation desk is, how your racks are, how is your reading rooms are, how is the place especially for the faculty members in the library. I can understand there are constraints about the space and all, but if you have the facility, one should increase to that extent. Now, after having an idea about the environment, then the next point is coming to the world of books. See, if library for us, for faculty and student, once you enter into the library area, it is a world of books related to your college subjects. Your college is having so many disciplines, social sciences, sciences, engineering, even humanities, all those areas are there. So in the library, in the world of books, library for us is a world of books. So how these world of books and what type of books are there in your library? That is also very, very important. Besides textbook, you know, now those days have gone when I'm also a teacher. As a teacher, we recommend to the students, okay, you read this textbook or you read that textbook. I remember when uh, I was a science student, PL Sony Chemistry, inorganic PL Sony. Organic book written by P.L. Sony, Physical Chemistry by P.L. Sony, Jordan and Nigam in Zoology. These are these were the famous titles when I was a student. So uh, we'd like to see those titles only. Now the reading and our search for information, search for title has gone beyond the textbook. I have seen many libraries, and the colleges which are coming up new colleges especially, they would like to procure books related to only the syllabus and textbook especially, and one textbook, 50 copies, 60 copies, 100 copies related to one title only. So in the world of books, because besides textbook, we are also having so much collections this collection should be of various types. It's not only textbook, but the other books also related to the course material. I have not visited your library and I have not interacted much with the Nushrat Praveen that what kind of uh, titles they are having in the library. So, uh, if those collections are there, well and good. If not, we should concentrate on those areas also. If we last, besides the textbook, 
then there are many reference collection is there and these reference collection starts with the the dictionaries the thesaurus the encyclopedias the other reference material because whenever students they are doing assignments or projects or your faculty members are involved with some projects or doing some further study program mphil or phd's in their area definitely their library especially in that area should provide them the basic material if it is a research so kind of resources are very very important and we should also understand the structure of those material see in the library if you will see the textbook structure what kind of structure the textbook is having and it is from subject to subject it varies whether see the structure of a dictionary and structure of a thesaurus is is two different things now who will teach the kind of structuring these books are having the faculty in the classroom whenever they are teaching a topic they give reference list or references to the student okay you go to the library read this textbook you go to the library read these books and when the student reaches to the library they will find these structures are sometimes complex structures and which title which reading resource is the best resource and then we are having a resources which gives a very complex structure see there there is a structure which is called a, a having an indexing and abstracting type of resources now these indexing and abstracting type of resources are those resources which index a variety of material a material from the conference proceedings material from the lectures materials they are indexed in those publications and their structure is very very complex for example if if you have heard of web of science or if you have heard of uh encyclopedias now the structure of encyclopedias they are different from the textbook an encyclopedia is a place where all the information related to subjects they are there and in a very elucidate form see i am thinking let this uh, interaction should be the both ways interaction if uh, some of the people some of the participants can come uh, with their uh, pictures on then we can have a more lively discussion on this see whenever a teachers comes in the class and they teach uh, uh, what i feel is that the he is not giving any new word to the students he is giving the combination of words and the concepts to the students so the then the interactions become uh, very lively mm. now okay i can i can see only 5 6 uh, oh, nine uh, faces on the screen if if some more people can come uh, then we can have a more interactive uh, session uh, nushrat is is it possible that we can have a more interactive Uh, session can video yes sir uh, those a student uh, uh, who want to interact with sir can unmute uh, themselves and uh, because they... I, i can i can hear i can see some names are here uh, uh, i uh, they, they must be a faculty here uh, varsha ji varsha singh yes sir yes sir uh now what is your idea about when you go to the library which which you find is a more complex structure besides textbook i believe the theory oriented texts they are more complex okay theory oriented 
uh, I can give one simple example. You know, when we were in school and when we are uh, uh, writing a, uh, our practical notebook, then we are having a some structure that how to write the experiment in the practical notebook. We have to write first the experiment and we write the experiment name. Then we write the requirements and methodology, observations, inferences. That is the structure the students, they create on the notebook. And when you will go to the, the, the books, which are practical books related to different experiments, they are having this type of structure, which is entirely different from the textbook structure. Now, coming on to the dictionary, now the dictionary is that everybody is using a dictionary from the school days time. Now in the dictionary, we are having our words and we are having its meaning and also we are having its history. The, 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 the word and now coming on to thesaurus. Have you heard of thesaurus, Varsha ji? Of course, sir, definitely. Uh, you, are a, you are a faculty there? Yes. Varsha, Varsha Singh. Yes, sir, I teach English. You teach English, very good. So if, if you will, Varsha Singh, if you will go to the uh, thesaurus, have you heard of thesaurus? Yes, sir, definitely. Okay, let us see what thesaurus is. So the thesaurus, in the, the thesaurus, uh, we get all the details about a word, about different words, synonyms, antonyms, uh, its root structure, etc. All the details, the pronunciation, and exactly. you know, exactly, yes. exactly. Now, this thesaurus will help the writers, you know, when you, when you are writing an article. I do write and that is why I, I use thesaurus because I do creative writing as well as uh, academic writing. That is why I am very much dependent on these thesaurus. Very good. Now, when it comes to the computer science, when it comes to the chemistry, economics, political science, when you are writing, uh, thesaurus that time is very very helpful. Roger's thesaurus is a thesaurus which is a common thesaurus for the complete language but there are subject thesaurus also. So Nusrat, I don't know how many th you have a different types of thesaurus in your library Nusrat? Uh, presently we don't have but we, in future we are planning to have it. See Varsha Singh has a thesaurus at his place uh, see, there are many resources which the faculties are keeping with them. You know, you should also keep those resources in your library also when we come to the library collection. You know, thesaurus related to uh, a different subjects or dictionaries in those subjects, uh, dictionary in computer science, dictionary in political science, dictionary in physics or dictionary in economics. So if you are having those things, that will definitely sometimes what happened, the, the teachers, they tell uh, some important concept words, uh, that concepts revolve around that word and to get the, the more descriptive idea about that word, they look for a dictionary. So if you, if you will have a dictionary is related to a different subjects in your library, that will also help to the students. Nusrat, do you have encyclopedias in your libraries? Yes, sir. We have encyclopedias. Which encyclopedia do you have? Britannica. Britannica. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, then uh, there is an encyclopedia of management also, encyclopedia of computer science also, encyclopedia of many subjects. Right? Uh, actually, sir, uh, we are undergraduate uh, college in, uh, and we deal in arts, commerce and BCA. No, I understand. Uh, even mm -hmm. in the undergraduate college, if you will, if you will get an encyclopedias, let us say spending a money more on only the textbook collection of that particular subjects this year, let us say now the COVID situation, I understand the whole thing has stand still and the, there is not much progress as far as collection development is concerned. But once this is over, then you can think of uh, putting on different categories of resources in your libraries. Like thesaurus is one, encyclopedia is another area. Now uh, you see, 
your principal sanjay prasad ji she he was mentioning about the the lacks of books that you are having on the electronic platform right and right. there are journals also which are open access journal so those things are there now in that case if you are having some indexing and abstracting access to those material that will also helps these students because your student after graduation definitely they are going for a post graduation do you have a post graduation uh, course any post graduation course no sir Only we are plan from the next year or uh, masters in okay so if it is in a plan then definitely you, you should encourage the final year students you know uh, that you have a you, your library is ready your library is ready to take up the uh, the, the post graduation course material also uh, at least this is one area when you should have a print material in your library access to the print material in your library the second aspect is that if you are having now the world is changing very fast and the covid situation has made us also to really think of library in a different way this is the uh, and i'm i'm talking about interacting on the physical library that you are having that you should really build up your collection physical collection in your library Uh, related to different types of categories now because now the the covid situation in the world is changing and we should now concentrate on building a electronic library also in your area now this electronic library it is you, you see the electronic library they they are also available on internet right but if you will make a electronic library of guru nanak college dhanwad now this electronic library can be of you know it then it comes to more on your part and also on the faculty see more than more than the librarian the faculties they are having much much more knowledge and even the students you know they also Uh, have a much knowledge about what is available electronically on internet on google yahoo especially the free access material so in your library i have seen your college website and in the college website if you can have a separate section on the library especially the e library services e library services option on the websites and in the electronic library it is not just simply putting the physical material in the library software one is a putting your material in the library software and the students are coming and searching whether this title is there or not that's a very simple way that's the startup of a library but building an electronic library is that you have to collect material on the internet what what are on the computer science and again in the computer science if you are having in 3 3 years or 4 years course the number of papers and how many books are there the electronic books are available on those papers in this way you can start with one discipline and you can take the help of a faculty members to build up your electronic library so you can start with computer science then you can go for economics you can go for english now virtual singh is is here and uh, uh, the other faculty members are also there so one by one you can start building a electronic library in that subject you get a title from them what they have read it on internet one is you can make a electronic library which is a open electronic library open access electronic library in the open access electronic library the material which are freely available now lakhs and lakhs lakhs of books are there and there is a ministry of culture you know and uh, then the ugc also uh, they are building a uh, uh, electronic collection in a different subject area 
so you can link those thing in your library website in a subject category wise so this is the job the library uh, should do it and uh, so that it can be available to faculty and it can be available to these your students also and why not guru nanak college library become the number one library in dhanbad and nusrat i know that you can do it and yes, uh, why not this uh, college library dhanbad can become a number one library in electronic area what you need is a is a good computer your computer department will help you either they will give you their server or they can they can help you in creating at your library the faculty of the computer science department so you can have a e library of open access plus very important is that if some of the very important books uh, which can give the additional material to the students in preparation of their assignments is subscribed one if you are buying a books which is also available in you know, a electronic format so you can negotiate with the vendor that instead of giving this book to your library they should give the electronic format or both the format you should try to get books not only uh, okay you should tell me the books which you are having from the different authors they are the authors especially in the nearby area or uh, the faculties are recommending or they are what is the collection is actually uh, we have a collection of academics book and reference book as well in our reading area uh, with library we have a, a separate room for reading uh, there you can book related to reference area and teachers recommend both the books for academics and reference all, uh, both now when 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 they are recommending the textbook the authors of the textbook are how many are from the dhanwad area or how many are from the nearby area only No, sir basically all are national or international authors okay Very what is my observation i have seen in many college when i visited uh, madhya pradesh uh, i have seen most of the books in the library they are written by the either the faculty of the same institute or the the nearby institute so they prefer to have because the publishers the publishers in the madhya pradesh especially gwalior i am talking so they are trying to acquire those books because uh, they are teaching in the college and they have published their books and uh, it is with the student and i am saying a very practical aspects that is why no. i ask that okay uh, actually we, we have a separate area for uh, faculty those who have published but that's for reference only okay that's for reference only so mm -hmm. you can have because i i mentioned in the beginning that you you can have really a good books uh not only the textbook the other reference material also related on to that topic or that subject area so that the student can have a more uh, more knowledge and more wider scope to understand the topic so you can build up a electronic library uh in the area uh the students uh, can access right now in the electronic library when when you think of electronic library now uh, then the much more um, pressure comes on the librarian also uh, and you can interact with the faculty because see the, your library is a library for the students and for the faculty you are the custodian you are the librarian there right so uh, one is that you are taking care of your entire library and your your collection and its arrangement how they can easily access the other important aspects in the electronic library is you should provide them the the current awareness service in the library humko are, are you giving a, are you giving a current awareness service in the library sir uh, for current awareness services we provide uh, journals magazines no no these these uh, what you do in the current awareness service in the library there there is a beside issue return one is a, you are displaying what is a new arrival in the, your library right right sir are you displaying new arrival in your libraries yes the new arrival 
is stayed in the library sir same thing you can do in the electronic area also a new collection new arrivals in your in your electronic library of guru nanak college dhanbad right that what right. is the new arrivals in your e formats so the in the library area this is one services in the electronic library a current awareness service you can give besides the current awareness service you know you can go beyond in the library library can do besides current awareness service you can give services related to the courses related to the courses and in the courses related to the the paper the title the topic in the paper if if somebody asks that the the uh, in the english area the first semester the first year student of english or second year student of english they are having a two paper or three paper paper number 1 uh, how many books you are having in that one paper and uh, because i can see only the screen uh, varsha singh name is there so i am always uh, asking varsha singh because i am not able to see the other people here uh, so uh, varsha ji jo uh, first year ke student hai you are teaching to all the year or first which year students sir all the year of uh, the ug course undergraduate okay. students of english okay. uh, how many papers are there all together So there are around seventeen like, papers. Seventeen papers in, uh, first year to final year, right? First yes, year. Yes. Yes. In the first in fourth semester, we have only two uh, core papers of English, and they also take papers from other subjects. Definitely. The general electives. See, since you are teaching mm -hmm. that paper, you must be knowing that this this particular topic is there is exclusive book on this particular topic, right? Yes. So that information source. is is what librarian is looking for that information source what the students are looking for not the whole book as it is because books are there which contains all the 17 topics right it is not that the we are recommending only one book to all the students but there are books which are related to first year paper number 1 and unit number 2 and topic number 3 so if the faculty members they because it's a faculty library it's a college library it's not a library of nusrat pudi so what we feel is that we should also interact equally with the librarian to develop the information sources related with our course material so this is what praveen i am emphasizing that in the when you give besides the li how the library collection should be built up how the library services are should be there and library services to the students and to the faculties now if i jump to the third category of library services is is really a tough we most of the people will say oh, oh the librarian is becoming now teacher no 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 librarian is not becoming a teacher librarian is just simply providing the material besides the book if you are able to help the students in preparing their assignments see i, I hope that in in each paper there are theory marks also and there are internal assessment marks also hello sir yes sir yes sir there are internal assessment marks also and in the internal assessment yes. you give you give assignments yes right? sir we take internal tests and we take assignments as well assignments also uh, and when you give the assignments then the 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 students looks for a different books in the library so that they can prepare a good assignments but there are there are students two or three students have a ditto same thing i remember once i was checking the assignments of a igno and the students they have uh, submitted their assignments and one student she got you know a grade o grade rather outstanding grade in many of the uh, papers in one paper she got b 
and she made a complaint uh, and the complaint came to the igno and uh, finally i it came to me um, and uh, I, I was i associated with the igno also for some time in master degree program and when i checked the assignments all the assignments three assignments were there all the assignments were copied assignment from the igno material and instead of a b the candidate got d and uh, you see that should not be there this is what we are dealing with the information in this interaction we are dealing with the information you know so in in that way when you give the assignments and all the 40 students or 50 students of your class they are preparing the assignments and for the preparation of the assignment they go to the library and the librarian when they prepare the assignments when they provide the material to the students they should see that on that topic the material should be of a different different sources and how to assimilate those different information and then build up the idea and write the assignment see uh, i interacted with many international colleges also their preparation of assignment is really so good and they are used to doing assignments by referring a different types of library material and they prepare a beautiful assignments not the one uh, i gave an example that all the material is in igno or you just have it here in your assignment this is one area of the uh, library which i thought i will discuss uh, with you and then the most important part is the reading part now for a reading part uh, how to encourage the students and the faculty uh, for a reading now the the reading is is it should not be a textual reading only see some people they sometimes they ask me uh, are you reading books are you reading books on your topic i said many months i have not gone to the library but yes i am reading my material and for reading those material i am accessing the e area even sometime while sitting on my drawing room i am reading my mobile and in the mobile i am reading the course material i am reading the material on the topic so the reading habit is changed totally changed and it is changing besides student they would like to go through the text if you are having a reading material in the e format through the books access which which i said you can prepare an electronic library the reading material in the multimedia format anushrat yes sir uh, how much material you have uh, on your undergraduate only in the multimedia format so talking about multimedia yes subject ki baat kar raha hu subject ke andar aapke yahan bahut sare courses hote hain uh un subjects mein aapke paas multimedia material kitna hai so that the student they can be interested in reading reading is is not that we are reading it just a textbook reading is that when we are reading reading through eyes reading through ears reading you know by watching said so, um, talking about multimedia uh... aap aap ye dekhiye ki jab students class mein aa rahe when the students are coming in the class are they reading no what they are they definitely they are learning and in the learning one process is reading and in learning another process is that they are listening to the teacher and getting a knowledge is finally getting the knowledge so when they are coming in the class they are getting a knowledge they are just simply sitting in a class and listening to the faculty what faculty is trying to say on that topic and the faculty has a different option some faculty they read the notes some faculty they prepare out of those notes ppt now the things are changing and then they are reading the ppts and in between they are explaining the concept i remember in my uh, when i was in science area one of my teacher uh, 
um, he used to come and he takes almost 30 minutes in one hour lecture he used to take 30 minutes to draw a beautiful diagram on the board and uh, especially it was a biology so circulatory system artery system vein system so it takes a lot of time how those system is uh, or a, or a uh, muscular system so he's taking so much time in drawing and then labeling it on the board and then rest of the 30 minutes he was explaining that this is starts from here this is the connectivity its name is this just reading it so what i am trying to say in the classroom also teaching in teachers they are using a multi uh, dimensions you know uh, teaching to these students what the library is doing in those areas are you having a multimedia material in your library yes sir we do have multimedia material uh, in a form of e-resources we have some audio lectures also available the e-resource that we procure for our college that is uh, associated with inflibnet and this program of inflibnet where we, they can get e-books and audio uh, lectures video lectures as well. We also recommend them to have an Adobe Digital Edition where they can skip their books for further reading and uh, in in their spare time they can go through it. And so we put a more important work. Today important work is doing because you have 63 login in your lectures in the discussion. Mein, students and faculties. Your internal faculty is internal faculties ka kitna material jo classroom material hai aapke paas hai teaching material jo classroom material jo wo lectures dete hain aapne kuch banaya hua hai database inka reading material ka sir as such reading material ka we are uh, we don't have but uh, during this pandemic we are associated with google classroom and when they share the uh, material uh, we are saving not many, but few of the material is shared with uh, library also. So we are share, saving it in our drive. Okay. Now few material. Don't do any material. Okay. And Varsha Ji, give English department. Ka dete hai. Ye kya karke lanti hai usme. Aur, uh, Sandeep Ji bhi hai yahan pe. Uh, aur Neeraj Nikhil bhi hai. Student hai Neeraj. Uh, jo, jo, especially jo faculty hai. जो भी क्लासरूम में ये मटेरियल डेवलप कर रहे हैं लेक्चर्स का आजकल तो ऑनलाइन हो रहा है ऑनलाइन में जो भी मटेरियल डेवलप होता है आइदर डॉक फाइल इनको अगर ये डॉक फाइल शेयर कर रहे हैं कुछ रिसोर्स मटेरियल की यू नो फ्रॉम द दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी साइड आई रिमेंबर इन 2020 uh, हमको 16 मार्च को एक ऑर्डर आ गया था कि ऑल द so 20 में जब pandemic start हुआ हम लोग वैसे भी class में students के साथ share करते थे but because of uh, they were not coming so we started developing the uh, classroom material in the e format either the doc file or the PPTs uh, or the specially designed material in the multimedia format also audio video and uh, we were putting all those materials on the website. A very, very important aspect is that when you will do within the college, it is okay. But when you will put for a wider circulation, the, the copyright issues and the plagiarism issues, they, they comes into force. So, is baat ka thoda dhyan rakhiega, jab teachers log bana rahe hain, jo doc file bana rahe hain, there is no problem at all putting a material into your lecture but only thing is that you should give a proper citation. If you are giving a proper citations from there, you have picked up those material and with proper reference, there is no problem at all. You can put those material onto the library, e-library platform, especially related with the, the college syllabus. So e-material can also be put, the faculty members, what they are doing now in the pandemic, they are sharing PPTs. Uh, you can request subject-wise subject. If you are getting in paper one, some 
paper two, one, paper three, even if it is a one, 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 fine, no problem. Uh, after two months in, in next semester, you will get another two. So it is an addition. So, see, now what is happening is all my lectures, all my things in my area, they, they are all on the doc file and PPT file and I'm having a folder on my desktop and I'm sharing it and I'm putting on my website also. So this is what we want in the reading area. The let, let us students should have a more reading material in a various formats. Not only this textual format, but also in a pictorial format, if it is possible in that area. English literature hai, if they are on the drama or if they are on, on the stories, if those stories are there in the video form, video uh, or, or audio, it will be very good. I was looking at one place where our automated system is working. I was teaching to the students the, you know, uh, the various technologies that we are using in a library. Like compact shelving we are using, the conveyor belt system that we are using. In some of the libraries in India, very good libraries like uh, Supreme Court Library, like Parliament Library, the libraries of various CSR libraries, a good research organization library, they are using a compact shelving. Not the manual compact shelving, but the electronic compact shelving. So I was having a video on how the compact shelving works and how the RFID system works. The RFID system also, the, uh, the how to put a tag, how to put a RFID for a stock verification. So such type of video in various subjects can also be searched. YouTube pe to Sara material available hai. and on the slide share also there is a slide share option Aap sabko pata hai. slide share pe bhi you will get a beautiful slides and uh, that can be used for the students to have a, a a good reading area a good reading environment so these are some of my ideas uh, Nushrat yes sir so aapko bhi apne yahan pe uh, jo, uh, multimedia formats hai, learning ke, uska material build up karna padega. Aur aap dekhiye ki dhanbad ke andar aapki library sabse achhi library ban jai. Aur aapki electronic library banegi to mein bhi dekhunga ki usme kya kya aapne kiya hai. Sure sir, at uh, present our teachers is doing uh, some work on electronic materials and we are also sharing it uh, with the students. And uh, we will definitely in future uh, incorporate it with the library so that uh, students get benefited. Good. Uh, these are my ideas I thought I will share with you. Now I would like that if the faculties and the students, they want to interact on the, the reading area or the library related aspects, please. Koi question ho, koi interaction ho, comments hai. Nushrat? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sure, sir. If there is any question regarding library and library, so you can ask from sir. Neeraj? Neeraj Nikhil? Neer Neeraj Nikhil aapke koi student hai. Right sir. He is from Neeraj Nikhil. Neeraj Nikhil. Aap apni library mein na author meet bhi kar sakte hain. Jo aapki faculty koi nahi book likhti hai na. Ji sir. Book ko leke aap student se interaction karwa sakte hain. Let the author will be there. And the author will uh, tell about uh, his or her book and let the student should interact on that and give comments. Rishank Shekhar. Abhi to dekhye koi bol nera. Varsha ji, aap kuch kehna chahengi? Varsha ji, 
So I think the the idea of uh, interaction with the authors is great that that should be promoted or बच्चों से बच्चों को पता चलेगा कि उनके उनके डिपार्टमेंट के टीचर्स भी जो लिख रहे हैं दे वुड गेट टू नो बिकॉज हम सेल्फ प्रमोशन सर कर नहीं होते इट 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 साउंड्स रियली नार्सिसिस्ट इफ वी गेट इनटू सेल्फ प्रमोशन वी डोंट डू दैट बट डेफिनेटली अगर लाइब्रेरी के थ्रू हमारे जो अच्छे टीचर्स हैं जो बहुत अच्छी चीजें लिख रहे हैं उनको अगर किसी तरीके से यू नो मेन स्ट्रीम पे ला सकते हैं दैट वुड बी रियली नाइस बच्चे थोड़े इंस्पायर होंगे एंड दे विल ऑल्सो थिंक की राइटिंग इज विद इन रीच इट इज नॉट समथिंग एलियन कुछ बाहर से लोग आएंगे और लिख के चले जाएंगे और उसी को हम पढ़ेंगे जरूरी नहीं आपके आसपास के लोग भी लिख सकते हैं on the multi dimensional aspect of the subjects so let the student of uh, commerce side he wants to read about uh, uh, economics so he can opt for one paper in economics L- let not it be a part of a course mereko pata hai ki bachcho ko padhai ke alawa kuch aur de denge unko badi mushkil ho jati hai lekin hum ye nahi keh rahe ki sare bachche hain जो भी बच्चा आना चाहता है बट लेट देर विल बी इनिशिएशन कि इस कॉलेज में ये भी होता है ए, ए, मैं एक एक और बहुत पार्टिसिपेंट है आई थिंक ही इज अ फैकल्टी देयर कंप्यूटर पे नाम सिर्फ राम कुमार करके आ रहा है राम कुमार जी अगर यस सर राम कुमार जी आ रहा है कंप्यूटर पे नाम संदीप कुमार महाटो ओके प्रवीण आई एम थ्रू विद आई जस्ट वांटेड टू इंटरेक्ट ऑन दीज टू इश्यूज इट्स नॉट अ थियोरिटिकल लेक्चर ऑन लाइब्रेरी और अ रीडिंग स्ट्रक्चर इट इज जस्ट अ जनरल इंटरेक्शंस अबाउट द लाइब्रेरी and how the readings can be in which types of area it can be right right sir thank you so much uh, sir for this presentation actually we got many areas to know and we got a good recommendation from your side and we would like you to thank for this and uh, i would like to say that uh, we uh, in our library uh, during this pandemic time we have also designed Uh, some electronic material which is distributed by uh, to the student by our faculties and will definitely uh, incorporate your idea of collecting it and uh, keeping it safe in a form of electronic uh, for, electronic form uh, to our college library so that it can be used uh, by the other patrons and uh, we have a, uh, and we will also go through the uh, idea of having thesaurus and uh, subject encyclopedias as well and uh, and uh, for uh, now uh, i would like to thank every one of you to uh, thank you for joining this session and it was a great session thank you so much uh, shalender sir and Uh, it's good to hear from you and we would like to thank i would like to thank you on behalf of our college thank you so much sir okay thank you very much thank you thank, thank you, you everyone thank you <laughs>